Hi guys, today we're going to be chatting all about my favorite skincare from 2019. You may notice there's a few things missing in here that you hear me talk about all the time, but that's because I didn't really discover them this year, so I'm going to leave those things out just because I've got a lot to talk about as is. But I do have a skin, uh, very, very full skincare playlist of favorite toners, favorite cleansers, favorite masks for oily skin, favorite hydrating masks for oily skin, favorite serums, favorite oils, skincare routines. I'm also leaving out makeup removers, so I'll link my favorite makeup removers down below. Uh, I talk about skincare a lot, so let's continue to do that and get started. I've got two cleansers that I want to mention. Both I've talked about quite a bit. The first one is from Kiehl's. It is very well loved, as you can see. It is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I really love this. I think it could be good for all skin types. It is recommended for normal to oily, so it's not meant to be like a super hydrating cleanser, but at the same time, it's not stripping at all. I find it to be the cleanser that I find myself reaching for when I was wearing a full face of makeup that day. I want to make sure my skin feels clean, but it doesn't feel like it's too much on my face. And I feel like this does such a good job. Uh, I have gotten about say there's like a little bit less than a third left in here but I use this all the time and you only need a tiny bit so although it is a more high-end cleanser it definitely lasts for quite a while and is very very good uh, and then on the drugstore side I mentioned this recently in a favorites video but this is the CeraVe SA cleanser uh, this has ceramides which are hydrating on the skin and then salicylic acid which is meant to not only help with oil and your pores but also acne and I've talked about this before uh, but if you are using a cleanser that has uh, like an active ingredient in it at any cleanser really but especially something like this be sure you remove all of your makeup and then put this on your face and I've been like I said recently as well incorporating the 60 second cleanse into my routine to really let the product sit on my skin uh, and this is super affordable fragrance free and I really really like it next let's talk about some exfoliators the first one is kind of a more physical exfoliant uh, it is the daily microfoliant from Dermalogica this is definitely a cult favorite product but I only tried it this year, so that's why I'm including it here today. This turtleneck is so hot, by the way. I got it at uh, H&M on sale for $12.99. But um, this is a rice-based powder which activates on contact with water. So not only is it um, a physical exfoliator, but it also has things in there like the salicylic acid, rice enzymes, uh, and it's meant to give you a brighter looking skin. It has white tea in there, licorice, so it's not just like a scrub. Uh, and you just put a little bit in your hand, a little bit of water, you create a paste, and it just, mm, it just feels so good to get in there. I have two masks here from Ulla Henriksen. I also love their vitamin C um, moisturizer, but I don't have it here in front of me. But two different masks. If you have an oilier skin type, this would probably be the one that I would recommend, the Cold Plunge Pore Mask, which was like all the rage when they launched this. Like they put some serious budget behind this sucker, um, but it's really good. This has, I believe, AHAs in here. Yeah, AHAs, which I really like for my skin. Those help on the surface level with texture, but it also includes clay, which is great if you have an oilier or more acne prone skin type. Has a great, really bright blue color, which I'm not gonna lie is satisfying, but I do really like this. Feels super refreshing on the skin and just kind of makes you look better. Uh, same can be said for this one. If you, I wouldn't say either of these are great if you have a more sensitive skin type, but if you're not necessarily oily, you may want to give this one a try. Uh, it's the Ulla Henriksen Transform Plus Fat Glow Facial. This has PHAs, which are kind of the new acid on the block, uh, and Nordic Birch Sap. And this is something that actually I see a lot of people doing, and I've started doing, is using this actually before makeup. Most of the time I'll use a mask at night, um, just because, I don't know, that's how I do things. But this is actually a really good one as a makeup prep because it just makes you look super, super glowy uh, and it really gives a soft look and feel to the skin. It really is kind of like a facial in a bottle and although the price tag is up there, a facial easily costs like a hundred bucks. So this is, I think, around $60 Canadian. Two more exfoliators that I wanna talk about. The good old baby facial from Drunk Elephant. This is really great too. It is legit 
and from Canada. Uh, this has a 25% AHA, which is like a glycolic acid or something like that, and then 2% BHA. I really love their Framboose TLC Serum, one of my favorite skincare products of all time, and that also includes a combination of BHAs and AHAs. BHAs get deeper in the skin, AHAs are kind of more surface level, and when they're combined, my skin seems to really, really like that. If they're combined in a product, I wouldn't necessarily combine them in two different products in the same skincare session, if that makes sense, um, but they've got them in here together, and I really, really like it. The reason it's not allowed in Canada is because the level of acid is higher than Health Canada allows. They don't want us to have healthy skin, but uh, I do need to try the drunk, I'm um, sorry, the Decium. They've got an acid, but I do really, really like this. I don't have a particularly sensitive skin type to acids, so I haven't had issues with this. I've seen a lot of people that really love it. They recommend using this once a week and then their TLC kind of every day as an everyday treatment, and this is kind of like a Sunday night thing for me. And then this is a body item, but I wanted to mention it. <gasps> it matches. This is from Skin Fix. I have the scrub and the cream. They've got new packaging. They're available at Sephora, which is so exciting, Canadian brand. Uh, and this is their Resurface Glycolic Renewing Scrub. Now, I've kind of not been using this as much on my arms lately because I have been getting laser, if you've seen that in my vlogs, and you're not supposed to use acids at that point. But I have the Kerastasis Polaris, or the chicken skin, on my arms, and you use this scrub before you get in the shower, and then there's a, a body cream afterwards, and I truly saw a difference when I used it on the bumpiness and the texture of my skin and I was skeptical. I was like, I don't think this is gonna work, but it is delightful. It has glycolic acid in here and lime something or other, lactic acid as well. And then there's something lime related in here too. Uh, and it smells so, so good. So if you happen to have issues with that on your arms or your chest, your back, your legs, it really does work. I've got a couple of toners to mention and I did a toners for oily skin not long ago. So I'll link that down below with other great options. They could all easily be in this video, but it's like, you know, decisions had to be made. So the first one I wanna mention is from Clarins. This is the toning lotion with Iris. It's alcohol free. And the reason I really like this is because I felt like when my skin was kind of being like extra oily or breaking out, but I didn't want to put anything like I already might have been using a salicylic acid or something on my face. I wanted to use something that felt like it was doing something for my acne, but not necessarily had active ingredients and isn't like stripping my skin and drying like some toners can be. This was what I reached for. As you can see, I used quite a bit of this and I own a lot of skincare. So if you ever see me like using something up, you know it's real. Uh, same can be said for this is the fresh tea, no, fresh black tea kombucha facial treatment. This is an essence, but goes on your face directly after you wash it. And this is something I used in the day. I used it a lot on even no makeup days. And although it doesn't have like a shimmer in it or any kind of technically like glow properties, something about it is just so light and so hydrating. Even if you do have oily skin, if you're looking for a way to hydrate your skin, something like a hydrating toner or hydrating essence is a great option because it basically feels like a water. So you're not getting, you know, like you don't want that heavy feeling of something on your skin. Uh, this is really good. Uh, it is supposed to meant to help with like a radiant complex complexion, like I mentioned, but it also has has um, antioxidants in there and to kind of smooth and just generally boost the skin and I think it absolutely does that and then lastly for toners although I kind of use this like a moisturizer as well this is probably the most interesting product I've tried all year maybe ever I think it is so cool it is the Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer it says it's for normal to dry skin although I think it is incredible for oily skin as well it includes white tea in here it is so softening on the skin so hydrating but so light. It is like a like if you mixed milk and water together and basically the way you're supposed to use it is just pat it onto your skin like you would in essence and do a couple layers. So I'll pat it on and then I might like go put my pajamas on, then I'll come back and pat it on again and do a couple layers. You don't need to leave it that long in between, but even from the first time I ever tried this, I saw such a difference. It felt so soft, felt so supple and hydrated, but it is so light. And you can see like, it doesn't look like I've used, I mean, I haven't used that much, but you really don't need that much. So this really, really impressed me. I've got a couple of acne specific products that I wanted to mention. My acne is generally more cystic and finding things that like, 
I always try to find things that work more so over time as opposed to spot treatments because spot treatments historically on my cystic acne aren't that effective. I found some okay ones, but these are the ones I've seen a, the biggest difference with and use most consistently throughout the year. So the first is the Rene Rouleau Anti-Bump Solution. This is kind of like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't buy many much product that isn't like from a well-known brand. I'm not the type of person to buy like a lot of indie makeup or indie brands or things I haven't heard much about. Uh, I don't know if that makes me like a follower, but I've just always kind of been into like more mass market products and that's why I, I love YouTube because that's what we love to talk about. And not that this is like completely unknown, but I really didn't know much about it, but I had seen it in I think a magazine article or maybe I had Googled like cystic acne spot treatments, whatever it was, they've got an entire line. I purchased this, it was $40 American, $20 shipping, $20 customs. I think the costs have gone down because I think I complained about it on Instagram and they were like, oh, you fixed our fees or whatever. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, I did like this. I mean, it does not get rid of cystic acne overnight, but I did feel like it helped to make a difference, especially if you live in the United States, it's not gonna be as expensive. And for me, as somebody who has suffered from acne for a very long time, if I can find something that's actually going to help, I'm willing to pay for that because just my soul hurts from having acne. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing that I tried this year as well were these Next Care Acne Absorbing Covers. Don't know why that was so hard to say. I get these on Amazon and I like these. You put them, like right now I've got like a lot of breakouts so I'm running through them kind of quickly. I think it's supposed to be more like if you have like one or two breakouts and you pop them on your face, but I'm like, I've got 10 on each cheek. But yeah, I actually felt like this made a difference. You leave it on and as you leave it on, this may be too graphic, but it kind of like absorbs your pimple and you see it kind of turn white and I really feel like it does ha help to flatten my pimples, kind of move them along, uh, they're less inflamed, they're less red and I'll put these on at night time or if I'm home during the day you may see me on Instagram stories like I was today <laughs> wearing these, no shame. I've gotten into facial oils over the past year or two. Uh, one that really blew me away this year is the Squalene facial, Squalene, sorry, facial oil from Indeed Labs. You know how much I love Indeed, again another Canadian brand. Uh, this is something that I definitely recommend if you are newer to facial oils because it is not heavy, it's not greasy. I mean, I still do my skincare a little bit earlier in the evening, so I'm not going to bed with like a shiny face, but I really love this. It felt lightweight. I felt like it helped keep my skin more clear, more hydrated, uh, even less oily because when you're hydrating your skin properly, it doesn't feel the need to overproduce oil. And this is a good price for a facial oil as well. I think it's a, generally about $19 at shoppers, but can go on sale because facial oils can be pretty expensive and I really enjoy this. They did just come out with a new Clarify oil that's specifically made for oily skin. This could be kind of for everybody in my opinion could enjoy this. Um, but yeah, really, really good. Uh, another one for oily and blemish prone skin that I like is the Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Concentrate from Kiehl's. This says it has a hemp derived cannabis cannabis, cannabis with sativa seed oil, oregano oil to calm and rebalance skin. This really reminded me of the Sunday, uh, Sunday Riley UFO oil. It has that oregano oil scent to it. It's a little bit strong, but again, I felt like this really helped with my acne. You don't want to overdo oils. I do just a drop or two at night mixed into your moisturizer is probably the simplest way. Uh, and then another one that I would kind of recommend for anybody, even if you have dry skin or if you're looking to brighten your skin, is the Pie Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil. And this is vegan, it is cruelty free, and I feel like this helped with the brightness and adding like some glowiness and life into my skin. And it is like this bright orange color. I had no issues with this turning my face orange. Uh, I don't think that's a thing, but it didn't do it for me, but it did give me that kind of vitamin C glow that you get sometimes from using vitamin C products. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really nice one too. And I think I said it's available at shoppers now. Again, I'll refer to my favorite serums video and link that down below. But today there's two of them one that I wanna chat about with you. Uh, the first one is from L'Oreal. You can see this one is almost empty. This is such a great serum. If you are just looking for a serum, I recommend this to any skin type, any skin concerns. Wow. Talking is hard today. Any skin concerns, I really, really like this. It has 1.5% hyaluronic acid, which is like kind of the highest hyaluronic acid content, um, which helps to hydrate your skin. It holds its weight a thousand times its weight in water. It's very kind of like a simple, I guess, serum. It's not intimidating. You don't need to worry about active ingredients and this and this and this. You 
You can use it day and night and it is great. Uh, and then another one is from the brand Volition. This is their Snow Mushroom Serum and they're a very cool brand. They kind of do like crowdfunded skincare. So you submit your ideas to them. You're like, hey, I heard good things about Snow Mushroom for acne and that was kind of how this was born. It's available at Sephora and this is again a really nice light hydrating serum and Snow Mushroom is supposed to be great for acne. I've actually seen it popping up uh, in some other brands more lately, but this was the, the they were the first people I ever saw to do a snow mushroom serum and because my skin has been broken out and it's felt a little sore and just like it really needs some like hydration and some love uh, I've been reaching for this a ton lately and I was using it a bunch earlier this year when it first launched I forgot I have another hyaluronic acid serum here uh, this is the hyaluronic acid from the inky list if you're not familiar with them they're a brand based out of the UK that is now sold I believe at Sephora in the United States and at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada all of their products are under 15 dollars obviously looking very similar to the kind of decium style of product but what I like about these guys is that they actually explain to you what the products do I've complained about this about decium before and while I like a lot of their products I go on their website sometimes read three paragraphs and I'm like I don't know what I just read so it's like I get you're trying to do something but like also I'm confused uh, but yeah I really do like this a great light hydrator and I use this um, this says on the back that it's an oil but I don't find it to be oily I treat it more like a serum I have four different face masks here all kind of for different things and again I have tons of face masks favorites videos. Uh, this one is almost empty now that I'm done kind of talking about Decium and the Ordinary. I really love this. It is the salicylic acid 2% mask for blemish prone skin. This, if you have acne, grab it. I think it's 690. I use it as a spot treatment. I use it all over my face. It leaves my face feeling super smooth. It's a great treatment like around that time of the month when you feel the breakouts. Like when I wash my face, this is going directly on it tonight. And I've used up a lot of this ever since I started using it. Not even like I probably tried it three months ago, um, but I've been using it consistently because I love it so much. Uh, then this is another, uh, sorry, an overnight mask from Olay. They came out with overnight masks couple months back now but this is the Olay overnight gel mask with vitamin C vitamin C is great for your skin it's great for everybody it is uh, for brightening helps with dark spots and I really like this because like they say it is a gel mask so I feel like everybody can enjoy this no matter your skin type it's not gonna feel too heavy on the skin and I think that this is a really nice way to incorporate some vitamin C into your routine there's also a brightening and a firming one I think I'm gonna do a video on overnight masks masks because I've got a bunch that I love. Now this is a good hydrating mask no matter your skin type. I really think that this is a good one. You can actually leave this on as like a treatment or you can wash it off and it is the Vichy Lift Lifta Active. Oh I always thought it was Lift Active. Lifta Active Hyalu Mask. So it features hyaluronic acid and on here it says you leave it on for five minutes and remove the excess with a damp pad so you kind of like let it absorb into your skin and remove any of the rem the remainder but I've seen people who have more dry skin really like this I gave this to my aunt she has a more dry skin type as well I love this I'm more combo and it's really really nice and light super hydrating it's like a an injection of hydration to your skin but it feels um, yeah it just feels like really softening really good and then a mask that I really like that is kind of for when my skin is just not behaving properly is from Amarovitsa. I've tried lots of their skincare. It is very high end. It's all great. Um, but this is probably because the, the thing is, it's like some of their products are just so crazy expensive and they're amazing, but there's good alternatives out there that I've tried. It doesn't make their product bad, but I can't be like, go out and get this. But this to me is, is a bit more unique. And if you were like, oh, I wanna, you know, treat myself, get something, or what should I get from Amarovitsa? This would definitely be my recommendation. It is the Silver Skin Savior mask and this has glycolic acid in here i believe salicylic acid uh, it's got a bunch of great things and it just it's for when i have like breakouts for when i have texture it's kind of a great do-it-all i've used quite a bit of it um but i don't feel and i love the scent um, but I don't feel like it makes my skin feel super sensitive, but it is a little bit more of an intense mask. The nice thing about it, if you are looking for a mask that has like a glycolic or salicylic acid, but you don't necessarily have oily skin, like my skin can hold up very well to clay and anything more drying. This has like a 
like an oily balmy texture almost so it doesn't feel drying on the skin at the same time it's like exfoliating and treating acne treating pores it doesn't feel like it's all tight and dry on your skin it feels like it's hydrating at the same time so I think that this is a really really unique product from them and I've been loving to use it on to moisturizers as you probably know I do like a best moisturizers for oily skin video every four months but the moisturizer that I use the most this month so or sorry this year so much that it's empty guys wow who saw this coming not me the fresh lotus preserve dream no fresh lotus youth preserve dream face cream super lotus night recovery wow but it's great um i love this because again i do use lots of acids lots of salicylic acid so i'm always looking for good products that don't have those things in there that still feel like they're doing something for my skin and this was definitely it i think if you have oily or dry skin you will like this texture it is for night uh, i recommend if you do have an oilier skin type to incorporate a little bit of a heavier night cream in because that way if you feel like you don't want your makeup to slip off this is the way to do it uh, it says it uses natural power and harness this is uh, cutting edge technology for of the whole living lotus plant to work overnight to help reduce daily signs of skin stress, aging, fatigue, for a rested, radiant look. And yeah, I just thought that this was such a great like pairing item for all of these other things. I've, I mixed, I would generally mix this with any of the facial oils that I mentioned. It goes great over uh, like a, a more acidic so a toner or serum or anything like that. Like it is just so great and I will absolutely be getting another one of those. Um, but I'm just trying to go through a few more products. Uh, as you know, I'm a gigantic fan of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost line. I recommend that when people are like, Sam, I need a moisturizer. I'm like Hydro Boost, Hydro Boost, Hydro Boost. There's a bunch of different lines and I've talked about it obviously many times but one that I hadn't tried until this year was the one for extra dry skin the reason I mentioned this is because I know a lot of you have tried Hydro Boost, but the only kind of pushback I got was, well, I want a fragrance-free one. And the extra dry skin version of the Hydro Boost is actually fragrance-free, and it's not that heavy. So I think it's something to look into. It still has kind of that gel cream texture. It's not as light as the ones for oily skin, but it's definitely not like a super heavy cream, and you have the bonus of it being fragrance-free. And then I have probably one of my favorite SPFs, uh, facial SPFs for the year. This was the Polish Choice uh, Resist line. It is a youth extending daily hydrating fluid. It says a water light fluid that minimizes the appearance of pores, helps to prevent uh, UV damage, signs of aging, and has an SPF of 50. It is very rare that I can find a moisturizer that has kind of a higher SPF that doesn't make me greasy, that doesn't turn me purple. That's a moisturizer like all these things are rare. Paula's Choice makes incredible skincare and this is definitely something to look into. If you live in Canada, uh, I shop from the Paula's Choice website many times and have had no issues getting it here. And yeah, this is some good stuff. And then lastly, I just wanna mention one kind of body product that I really love. I think I've talked about it in other videos, but I'm gonna mention it here now because I love it. It is the Cake Cakewalk Minty Buttered Oil. It is the Rich and Reviving Foot Pretty Cream long name but a great product uh it is a pedicure in a bottle i would like to say uh, i really really think that if you have dry skin on your feet any flakiness any hardness this is so good super affordable cruelty free available at shoppers drug mart here in canada has that great minty scent and when i put this on my feet at night the next day they truly are so so smooth i think it is amazing especially i'm gonna say especially in the winter time when your feet get kind of like you know a little bit raggedy potentially but especially in the summertime too because people are actually seeing your feet like no one's seeing my feet besides me right now pretty much but yeah this is a really great option and I know it's not really for your face but I have not mentioned it enough and I really love it so my camera cut me off as soon as I was about to say goodbye but thank you so much for watching let me know down below what your favorite skincare product of the year was and as always if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye